Welcome to 1934. The Institute of the Motor Industry is in its 14th year and thanks to that clever Mr Ford and his mass production techniques there's been a surge of car ownership. There are 2.5 million motors on Britain's roads. Not all cars on the road at the moment are as beautiful and sophisticated as this Rolls-Royce Phantom 2, but the technological leap endured by these chappies who have moved from looking after the horse to the motor car is massive. In the early days of motoring of course lots of blacksmiths turned their hand to car maintenance for obvious and sound economic reasons. So today there are literally thousands of garages and mechanics up and down the country available to service motor cars. Now the RAC and the AA combined have 2,000 mechanics on bicycles ready to whiz to the assistance of motorists that have broken down. The IMI has 3,000 members and it's helping newcomers to the business get the skills and qualifications they need to look after these babies properly. Cheerio modern Britain and make sure you subscribe to the IMI YouTube channel. Now today the Institute of the Motor Industry is still providing the qualifications necessary for technicians to work on new technology safely. Coincidentally, like 1934, there are 2.5 million cars on the road. And of course what I mean is 2.5 million hybrid and electric vehicles, like this handsome beast, the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. The technological leap between the combustion engine and electric powered cars like this is not dissimilar from the jump between the horse and the car because look under the bonnet of one of these beauties and you find a completely different animal. Unlike in 1934 the number of people who are qualified to work on cars like this is relatively small. There's only about 2,000 so each one of them's got 1,500 cars to look after and yes they're really busy. Now the IMI has asked the government to put some of the money it's put aside to promote green cars into training so the industry has the necessary skills at its disposal to be able to service these cars properly. Now because the technology in cars like this is potentially dangerous in untrained hands we've asked the government for regulation so technicians and their customers can be kept safe. Now if you love cars as much as we do at the Institute of the Motor Industry and you think these are good ideas, perhaps you could share the link for this video with your MP. Now you can find their address at the parliamentary website which is parliament.uk. Thanks for your help.